Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how to use Zoom. We are Building Skills Partnership, a nonprofit organization with the mission of improving the quality of life of property service workers and their families by providing access to educational resources and career opportunities. We are located throughout the state of California and we hope that this video will be useful to you as you enter the virtual world and use Zoom for virtual meetings. Zoom can be accessed via a computer, a smartphone, or tablet application, or via a phone call. It has free accounts with limited features, as well as paid accounts that allow for additional features and longer meetings. Zoom meetings allow for up to 100 people to join, and each meeting has at least one host that manages the meeting and is able to share screen and mute individuals during the call. In order for you to enter the meeting, you should have first received an invitation via email or text and you can see what that looks like here on the left we have the call details the link and a call-in number with a pin number followed by the pound sign if you choose to only call using your phone without video if you've received the invitation via text we have an option here of what it looks like on an iphone and an android so you can go ahead and click those links and that will automatically open up the application on your phone and take you to the correct meeting. Once you have joined the meeting, some meetings have a waiting room. And what that means is that the host needs to let you in first, but don't worry, Zoom will let you know. And as soon as the host lets you in, you'll go ahead and enter into the call. Some meetings don't have a waiting room and you could join immediately and see everybody that's already on the call. As you join, you will see that you will have to first choose your audio. So if you are using an Android device, you will click on call via device audio, or if you're using an iPhone, you will use your internet audio. So just make sure that you go ahead and click that to make sure that other people can hear you. If you are using an iPad, just note that the features are located on the top of the screen and on iPhone and Android users that are using uh, phones, that will be on the bottom of the screen. So another thing to note is if you are using an Android, you will have to click allow uh, to record audio on Zoom. And we encourage you to do so, it's safe to do so. It will give us access to use meetings to train other participants. One cool feature that Zoom has is it has the option to mute and unmute. And so make sure that when you join a meeting, you mute yourself using that microphone uh, option by clicking it. If it is red and has a dash through it, that means your microphone is off. And so just to be respectful, especially if there's a lot of people on the call, you want to make sure that that feature is turned off so that there's not a lot of background noise. Once you are ready to speak, as you can see, go ahead and click on that icon and it will turn the icon white and that means that you are no longer muted and are able to be heard by the rest of the people on the call. The same goes for the camera. So as you can see right now, the camera is off and it's red and has a dash. So if you want everybody to be able to see your beautiful face, go ahead and click on that so that your video is on if for any reason you have to step away or don't want to show uh, what is happening on your side, you could click that and turn your camera off. And it looks the same on Android and iPhone. In order for you to access additional features, you're going to click on the bottom right side of the three little dots that say more. Once you click on that, you will be able to see the chat function and it looks similar on both Android and iPhone. So go ahead and click that option for you to send messages. And you can send messages to everyone or somebody individually in that call. You can type the text in. And once you are ready to send your message, you're gonna go ahead and just click on that send button or the return bars on your text box or keyboard. When you're ready to exit that chat box, uh, at the top left corner, you will see an option to close. Go ahead and click that and it will minimize the chat box so it's no longer on your screen. 
if you see a number in a red circle at the bottom right corner, that means there is a message in the chat box and you can go ahead and read that by clicking on that icon and opening up your chat box. And you can respond the same way that we just mentioned. Zoom also gives you the ability to raise your hand if for example somebody is speaking and you don't want to interrupt you can access that by clicking on that more option on that bottom right corner and asking to raise your hand so that looks similar again on both android and iphone go ahead and click raise hand and the host will be able to see that your hand has been raised and that means that you want to say something and on an Android, you will see an icon on your screen of a hand. On an iPhone, you won't, but the meeting host has already seen uh, that you've raised your hand. If you decide that you no longer want to have your hand raised, you're going to click again on that more options on that bottom right corner and click to lower hand. And that option is the same on an Android and an iPhone. When you are ready to leave the meeting, you are going to click on the top right corner where it says leave, and that will allow you to leave the meeting if, for example, you have to leave before it ends. If you are the host of the meeting and you choose to leave, if you have not added an additional host, it will close the meeting for everybody. So just be careful, but if you're not the host, you can just go ahead and leave the meeting and everybody else can continue to be on. So that is the tutorial that we have for you today. If you have any questions about using Zoom, please go ahead and call us at 818-659-8513. Thank you.